my name is Mr. Vikram Dar, I'm a head and neck ENT surgeon, and I wanted to tell you a little bit about a hemithyroidectomy, which is a surgery where we take half the thyroid gland away. For most of the times, there's a nodule in that thyroid gland that we may be concerned about, or it may just be a little bit big and causing some, some pressure. Um, but uh, I wanted to take you through what usually happens in surgery. You'll come in on the day of the operation and 95% of the time you'll just need to stay one night. Uh, in my practice, I always uh, have at least one night stay. And about 5% of the time, if the drain's producing a little bit too much blood, then another night stay is appropriate. Of course, it's done under a general anaesthetic, um, which means you'll be completely asleep. Um, and it's generally quite a painless operation. Um, we make an approximately five centimeter incision, quite low in the neck, horizontal, usually in a skin crease. And we dissect down to the gland, and the thyroid gland is a butterfly-shaped gland, low in the neck, which um, we uh, dissect onto, and then find some important structures. One of those structures is the recurrent laryngeal nerve. And that's a very important nerve that makes your vocal folds move. And the chance of damaging that is less than 1%. Um, there's, we use a recurrent laryngeal nerve monitor throughout the operation to reduce the chance of damaging it. Uh, there's another little nerve called the superior laryngeal nerve that I also look for. Um, and if that were to be damaged, which is more common, as often it does run through the thyroid, um, that causes patients to have problems with pitch elevation and throwing their voice. Often I find that teachers and singers find this troublesome. Um, the other important structure to look for in the operation are the parathyroid glands. And they're the size of a grain of rice and they can easily be devascularized. That's the blood supply taken away from them. Um, but in a hemithyroidectomy with no previous surgery, there's no chance of having a low calcium or low parathyroid hormone level after surgery. Um, beyond that, the, uh, as with any surgical operation, there's a small chance of bleeding, so we leave a drain in overnight to collect any blood, and a, a less than 1 in 100 chance of a significant infection. Um, otherwise, uh, thyroid surgery I would describe as a, a moderate uh, size surgery, um, and people make a very good recovery. Uh, within two weeks, they're usually back to uh, normal activities. We tend to put clips in after the operation, which uh, can be easily removed by your general practitioner nurse, 48 hours, yes, that early after um, surgery, and uh, steri strips can be placed upon them. We tend to say not to soak the wound until about five days later when the steri strips can come off um, and uh, things start getting back to normal. I hope you found that useful.